Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and today I am back with an updated video for um, one of my most popular videos here on YouTube and it is how to make a shaker bookmark using a laminator and a fuse tool. Now I know not everybody has those so I've been trying to think of a way I could make them with some other tools I have here. And so I've came up with a way to make one using the envelope um, punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. Now some of their other punch boards might do the same thing. So you can watch my tutorial and if you have a different board, if you think it would work with yours. But this is what the new bookmark looks like. Now you will notice it is slightly different than the original. In this one, I could have the back clear, you know, so it's more clear and you could actually see the text through the pages. Um, but I think this one is just as fun. And then you could actually decorate the background, you know, more than just pattern paper like I have here. You could, you know, add a name, personalize it in some way, make it more for a holiday. But I just love sh shaker anything. So I thought I would try this. Um, the reason I had to put the paper in the background is because if you look on the back, you can see all the adhesive strips that I would have needed to seal the envelope shut. So that kind of just hides that. With this bookmark, you will have to use, um, you can't use teeny tiny sequins or beads because the hole that I have made for the twine it would allow for little seed beads maybe to get through there or teeny tiny sequins. But I still have some smaller ones in there. And here I'm going to show you what you're going to need for this bookmark. Besides your standard paper trimmer and some type of adhesive, which I am using my ATG tape runner, these are the tools that you'll need for my tutorial. Some kind of 1 8 inch hole punch. It doesn't have to be the crocodile, but you do want that smaller hole punch. For my tutorial, I will be using the envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. And again, if you don't have this exact punch board, you might be able to search on YouTube to see how to make envelopes without the punch board and then adapt it um, for the size that you'll need here today. I have already pre-made my sequin mix. I have some gold, some pink, some blue, and some white in there. You'll want um, some kind of twine or floss or thread to put at the top of your bookmark just so that sticks out of the book and just kind of helps you find your bookmark in your book. A piece of pattern paper of your choice. and. This is what I call clear cardstock. It's actually clear report cover. Um, it has a white tissue on the back, but it's completely clear. Now, if you don't have this, you could go to your local copy or binding shop like a FedEx office or Kinko's as they used to be called, Copy Max if that's still a thing, the Copy Center in Staples, and see if they'll sell you a clear report cover. If not, you could try a transparency on this. It's not going to be quite as thick, but honestly, I don't even think that would be a problem. So now that I've shown you what all you need, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was open up my envelope generator app. And what I'm actually doing is I'm creating an envelope of sorts for the shaker bookmark. So I put in my card width as seven and three quarters and my card height as one and three quarters. Now the reason I did this is because the envelope or the bookmark will actually be a little bit larger than that. So it's about two by eight, um, the final size when we fold it down. So the app is telling me I need a piece of paper at eight inches and my punch guide measurement is one and seven eighths. So what I do is I'm going to cut my clear cardstock to an eight inch square and then I'm going to use my envelope punch board to punch and score the lines. With the clear cardstock, since it is pretty thick, you do have to push pretty hard to punch through, but it does work. When you go to score it, 
you're not going to be able to score all the way to the other end of the piece of paper but because the paper is clear though it's easy to line up with your scoring guide over here later so punch and then score it and I do do that a few times just to make it a nice score you're gonna turn and again it's not scored all the way to the end but I can still see that white arrow and I am lining up my previous score mark with that Once I have all my score lines made, I'm gonna go ahead and do the top punch to round the corners just on these two ends. And sorry about that noise if you can hear it. We are currently getting our countertops installed upstairs. Yay! Now that I have all of the scoring done and the rounding of the end corners, I am gonna trim off the wings, I'm gonna call them, because obviously if I fold them over, it's not gonna make an envelope. What I do for mine is line the score line up on the one and a half inch line on my trimmer, close that, and then trim off the wings. And the great thing is, since the paper is see-through, you can line it up exactly. Then I'm gonna flip it and do the same thing. And now I have the base for my bookmark ready to go. What I'm gonna do now is just go in and just um, reinforce all the scored lines, especially those end parts where I could not score it with the punch board. All those have been reinforced, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my inside piece of paper for the back of the bookmark. Now, I have already measured mine, and it is about two inches wide by eight and one eighth inches tall. If you do this, you will probably want to measure your bookmark um, just in case it's a little different than mine and you want to make sure that it does stay inside of the score lines otherwise it's not going to fold nicely so here is my cut piece and i'll kind of show you what that looks like in there but there's a little bit of a clear border around all of those edges when you look from the front i'm not going to go ahead and seal it completely because i do still need an end to pour my sequins into for the shaker part of the bookmark. So what I'm gonna do is adhere this, adhere the piece of paper to one of the side flaps. And you'll understand in a minute why I just do one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down in the center of that area. And I'm going to put adhesive along the outside edges of one of the wings and on the left side close to the center. So get your piece of paper where you want it on the bookmark, so kind of centered in there. Hold that down nice and tight and fold the side into it. And then that's gonna pick that up like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce this fold again, just so it ni lays nice and flatly. And then I'm gonna do the same adhesive on this other wing. So around the outside and down the center. And again, I wanna hold this down nice and flat because you don't want a lot of air underneath that or your bookmark will be pretty puffy. So that's what it looks like so far and you have two open ends. I'm gonna put adhesive on the bottom flap now around the, all the outside edges. There you go. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you kind of have an opening there. The next thing we're gonna do is put in our shaker bits. So again, I've already pre-mixed those, and because my bowls have that kind of um, pointed corner, I'm just gonna pour that right in there. It makes it so easy for pouring. All right, now that I have my shaker bits in there, I'm gonna close up the other end. And again, you'll wanna make sure it's nice and flat before you close it. 
and now we are almost done. The last thing we have to do is to put in the thread at the end. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers crop -a dial and I'm going to use the smallest hole. I think it's 1 8 inch. Let me see if I can... Yes, 1 8 inch. And I just make sure my shakers, my bits are at the other end and I just kind of eyeball it centered in there. And so I have my hole and now we're ready to put some twine in there. I'm gonna be using pink sorbet and I've had this for years but I think it was from a company called The Twinery. Yes, The Twinery. I fold it in half so I have that little folded loop at the end and that's what I try to feed through my hole and I'm going to do this from the back to the front. So once that is threaded through the front, you have a little loop here. Do that. I tie a knot at the end. Well, not at the end. I tie it maybe an inch and a half or so from the end. And then I trim off the excess and make those straight. And there you have it, a quick and easy shaker bookmark, no laminator or fuse tool needed. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up below. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I hope you'll decide to hit that subscribe button below and maybe even click on the bell to get notifications of when I upload more videos. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by again. I appreciate each and every view. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you just want to leave a comment, I love to read those as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.